What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and in this light painting tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to light paint with the Polaroid One Step Plus camera. The thing that I love most about Polaroid cameras is that there is one true original. When you're shooting with a digital camera or even with a film camera, you can replicate that image, you know, hundreds, thousands of times, no problem, especially on digital. But when you're shooting on a Polaroid, there truly is one original image. The Polaroid One Step Plus comes in at about 140 bucks for this camera, which to me is a bargain. The film for this camera runs about 16 bucks for a pack of eight. So that is $2 a shot that comes out of this camera. If you're like me, you love film and it's worth it, but if you're gonna shoot like 500 of these, you can go broke pretty quick. With this modernized version of the Polaroid camera, it pairs with an app that Polaroid has and it opens up a whole new world of creative possibilities. Within the app, you've got just a remote shutter so you can just literally trigger the camera from your phone if you wanna get in the shot yourself. But it's also got things in there like the double exposure, light painting, and it gives you the full manual controls of the camera. I have done some shots and gotten some good ones in the light painting mode on the camera, but I've been getting the best results just using the full manual mode of the camera. I've been shooting at F22. With the film that comes with the camera, you're at an ASA of 640, which is equivalent to an ISO of 640. If you shoot light painting a lot, you probably are shooting at a much lower ISO than that. I generally shoot at an ISO of 100 to just make sure I don't have a lot of noise on my image and things like that. But if you're shooting with the Polaroid camera, the film comes as standard ASA of 640. So again, that's an equivalent of an ISO of 640. So you have to adjust the rest of your settings to go along with that higher ISO or ASA that you're gonna be shooting at. For this tutorial, I'm gonna shoot three different portraits using tools from light painting brushes. I'm going to be using the portrait light to illuminate my model, and I'm also gonna be using the light sword, the fiber optic, and one of the diamond plexiglass to create different effects in each of the images. All right, so the lovely Stacy is gonna be sitting in for us on this. Say hello, Stacy. Hello. Or everyone say hello to Stacy through the internet. Say hi, Stacy. Or put it down in the comment section. <laughs> Put it down there, say hi Stacy. So the first thing we gotta do is put film in it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Boom, putting film in. All right, once we have the film in it, the next thing that we need to do is just connect it to the app on our phone. And the way we're gonna do that is flip the camera on and we're gonna look for the little blinking plus button right there, which says that it has the Bluetooth kicking out the signal out to the world so that your phone can find it. If you have not downloaded the app, you wanna download the Polaroid app. You're gonna go through the app and just find your one step plus little button, which is then gonna connect you to your camera, which is gonna allow you access to all those different cool features within the app. Now that I've got film in the camera and the camera is connected to the app via the Bluetooth, all I've gotta do now is put it on a tripod and thankfully Polaroid has thought of that as well with the little screw mount right on the bottom of the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and screw that on and put it on our tripod. With the Polaroid One Step Plus camera, there are two different settings. There is a portrait setting and there is a standard or landscape setting. There's a different focus ranges for each of those settings. The focus range for the portrait setting is one to three feet. And I found in that setting or with that lens, the sweet spot is right about two feet away from the camera. And then the other setting or other lens that's on the camera there is the standard or landscape. The focus range for that is from three feet all the way out to infinity. But if you're doing a portrait, I've found that the sweet spot for that is right about five feet away from the camera. Stacy's gonna be about five feet away from the camera. So I'm gonna shoot those first two in the standard or landscape setting, the standard or landscape lens, because she's gonna be about five feet away from the camera. For the third image, I'm gonna shoot that in portrait mode because she's gonna be a little bit closer to the camera, about two feet away, again, in that sweet spot. And I'm just gonna create like a headdress of light all around her using the diamond plexiglass. For the first portrait, I'll be using these tools here. I'll be using the portrait light to illuminate her within the image. And then I'm just gonna take this purple light sword and kind of go around her like so. 
just to create these ribbons of light that are kind of enveloping her. I'm setting the camera through the Polaroid app and the settings that we're using are ASA 640 because that is the speed of the film within the camera. Then I'll be using F22, shooting on bulb mode. All of these exposures are gonna be relatively short, maybe 30 seconds at the most. We're gonna go ahead and create a few and see what we get. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run through one now. Starting the exposure on the phone. And go ahead and using the light painting brush's portrait light to illuminate her. It's important that she stays as still as she can throughout the time that she's illuminated. To make sure she stays in sharp focus, I'll add a link to a tutorial about making sure your model stays in focus down in the description. Next thing I'm doing is just taking the sword and gonna go around her with light just to add in this ribbon of light going around her. And that is it, stopping the exposure. And it's gonna go ahead and kick the film out and then it's important that you do not expose this film to light. So you don't wanna turn on the lights and blast the Polaroid with any light. What you wanna do is take it out of the camera, put it somewhere face down and then just cover it up with something like a shirt or even a, uh, a notebook. We're gonna go ahead and shoot the next one now. For this one, she's gonna have her hand kind of out like so, and then I'm gonna take the pink fiber optic with the blue screw on color filter and just kind of slowly run this down like this through her hand like so. And it should look like she's kind of reaching out and touching this streak of light that's coming down this side of the frame. I'll also be illuminating her with the portrait light again, just to make sure she shows up in the, uh, in the final image there. So we'll go ahead and run through that one now. First thing that I'm doing is starting the exposure, illuminating her with the portrait light. Here we go. Here we go, now I'm doing the fiber optic, dragging it down. And as soon as it hits her hand here, it's gonna kinda get disrupted. There we go. Hopefully that'll look like it was just this liquid light falling down and then her hands in it disrupting it. All right, for this one, what we're gonna do is I'm switching the camera to portrait mode because she's gonna be a little bit closer to the camera. So she's only gonna be about two feet away. So I'm actually gonna scoot her in like so. <laughs> All right, so I've got her just about two feet away from the camera now. And that is really the sweet spot if you're gonna be in that portrait mode. What I'm gonna do for this light painting is I'm gonna create this headdress that kind of comes up all the way around her. And what I'm gonna do for that is just take the diamond plexiglass here and I'm gonna just be turning it on and off like so, all the way around her head like that. And just coming back and I'll do that two or three times to create this nice like diamond headdress that comes up around her head. I'll also be illuminating her with the portrait light to make sure she shows up nice and pretty in this image. All right, here we go. Starting the exposure now. First thing that I'm gonna do is illuminate her, so stay as still as you can. Ready? There we go. Now I'm gonna take the diamond plexiglass and I'm just gonna go around her head here turning it on and off to make this cool diamond shaped headdress. Each time I turn this light on, it's gonna leave this nice little impression in the image. And that's it. Stop that exposure and see what we got. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Stacy. thank you very much for shooting with me. My pleasure. There we go. I just wanna say that this is by no means in any way, shape, or form any kind of paid advertisement for Polaroid. I truly just love these cameras. I've loved them since I was a kid. With the Polaroid One Step Plus and the ability to light paint through the app on your phone, it really is the perfect matchup for me just because 
I really try to keep my images straight out of the camera and there is no more straight out of the camera than shooting a Polaroid that gives you one true original. So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, get out there and get creative. What she said. <laughs>